quick, graph y equals the opposite of the quantity x plus 4 squared plus 1 by hand two different ways. This is part of the family of functions series. You will need graph paper or you can download this PDF and print it. Press pause as needed any time during this video. First way, we need to decide what the parent function is and its shape. y equals x squared is the parent function. It's a U-shaped parabola. We'd like you to imagine this curve in your mind as we're doing this. Identify the parameters, and what we mean by that are values in the expression that affect the graph. In this case, there are three different parameters. How do they affect the graph? Plus one shifts all the points up one. Plus four inside the parentheses shifts all points to the left four. And the opposite sign reflects the curve about the horizontal line through the vertex. Also takes the opposite of each of the y values. What do we consider first? Well, we suggest plotting the vertex first. And that's going to be affected by the left 4 on the x, so negative 4. And up 1 plus 1 on the y. So the point negative 4 comma 1 is our vertex. Now we do what we call the parabola dance, but we use the opposite sign, and that puts the points in the negative or opposite direction. For example, normally we go right one up one on our parabola dance, but in this case we're going to go right one down one because it goes in the negative direction. That's what that opposite does. Instead of right two up four, it'll be right two down four. Instead of right three up nine, right 3, down 9, again negative direction because of the opposite sign. Instead of left 1, up 1, it'll be left 1, down 1. Left 2, up 4 will become left 2, down 4. And left 3, up 9 becomes left 3, down 9. Connect the points into a parabola looking shape. You can see it's opening downwards. The vertex is at negative 4, comma 1. And the axis of symmetry is the line x equals 4. Curve is symmetric about that. And when we compare it to the parent function, again, that opens upwards, this opens downwards. And it has a different vertex. Using a table, here's our traditional five-point parabola table. The plus 4 inside the parentheses affects the x values. It shifts the points left 4, and so that means that we need to subtract 4 from each x value to shift to the left. So 2 minus 4 would be negative 2. And then we'll just go ahead and subtract 4 from each of those. So I ask you to go ahead and do that. Press pause, resume when you're ready to check. And you can see here our answer subtracting 4 from each of the x values. The other two parameters affect the y values. By the order of operations, we do the opposite first, and then we add the 1. So taking the opposite of 4 is negative 4, and adding 1, we get negative 3. You can see the calculation right here then plotting negative 2, negative 3. The opposite of 1 is negative 1, plus 1 is 0, so we plot negative 3, comma, 0. We ask you to pause and finish the table, plot the points, resume when you're ready. So the opposite of 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, negative 4, comma, 1. Opposite of 1 is negative 1, plus positive 1 is 0, so negative 5, comma, 0. And the opposite of 4, negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, negative 6, comma, negative 3. There are five points. Connect them to look like a parabola opening downwards, and we compare it to the parent function. Now you try one. Graph y equals the opposite of the quantity x minus 2 squared minus 3. Use either method or both for the practice. 
Press pause to do this and then resume when you're finished to check your answer. And here is that answer. And we have the table of both the parent and the graph that you were asked to do.